Yeah, you got to do this in the regular season straight fire, but you know what? Come playoff time, you got to know the game changes. And when the game changes, you got to be ready for this. ESPN's highest paid on our talent, Stephen A. Smith. Palm gets sweaty, backside get tight, and all of a sudden, you can't do what we were accustomed to seeing you do. Who the hell am I supposed to blame, Swami? Oh, so I don't know. Admitting he is blaming no one else but Lamar Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see the difference? You watch the two games, you watch the two quarterbacks. There is a difference between a running quarterback and a quarterback who can run. Let's stop here. Notice, if you will, the headline at the bottom of the screen. This is Media 101 in the year 2019. Fabricate. Yes, fabricate a storyline and run with it. Many powerful media folk have waited and salivated for Lamar Jackson to fail, like Colin Coward. Lamar Jackson's a more talented version of Tim Tebow. Who makes six million dollars per year. Both guys were overdrafted. Both guys are projects, not prospects. Lamar Jackson's a project. He's not Sam Darnold. He's not Josh Rosen. To have these takes, and look, Colin's right. Lamar Jackson is not Darnold or Rosen. He's an MVP. Tebow 2.0 is coming, and it's already starting today. It's Lamar Jackson. One slip is all it takes, and it starts with the very beginning. The Baltimore Ravens select Lamar Jackson. Draft night. Jackson gets selected 32nd overall. However, many demanded a switch. Lamar Jackson, speaking of size, quarterback or wide receiver on the next one? I think wide receiver. ESPN's Bill Polian, former executive who drafted Peyton Manning, a no-brainer at number one overall. This guy is incredible in the open field and, a, and great ability to separate. And again, short and a little bit slight and, and clearly, clearly not the thrower that the other guys are. Just a plethora of falsehoods with coded racism. Factually, Jackson is listed at 6'2 for his draft profile via NFL.com. Not short in the slightest. Second, Jackson, who won a Heisman Trophy, completed 59% of his passes better than Wyoming's Josh Allen, 56.3%. Pulling's assessment of Allen, he made a comp to Peyton Manning and Jim Kelly, two respective Hall of Famers. Stop pandering. Stop protecting him. He doesn't need our sympathy. Oh, contraire, amigo. Right now, Mitch Trubisky's number one solidly. Mel Kuyper Jr. has been doing NFL drafts for a long time, yet watch the goalpost move with Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. Mel Kuyper Jr. asked about Josh Allen's completion percentage. Stats are for losers, in my opinion. The guy won. Hmm, interesting. Same energy towards Lamar? Mel Kuyper Jr. is having another conference call on why Lamar Jackson isn't a first rounder. It's the accuracy throwing the football. Finished career around 57%. Former NFL scout Greg Gabriel dinged Jackson because, in his view, Jackson did not run a pro style offense at Louisville. One anonymous ACC coach told SI, We played Watson and Lamar Jackson. And Jackson has no shot at playing quarterback in the NFL. None. He can't make the throws and can't read coverages. He's not going to have a chance. Jackson rightfully so, was peeved. It follows a history of the NFL and African-American quarterbacks. Via the undefeated, NFL talent evaluators have looked at the black skin of a young quarterback and concluded that he could not read defenses, couldn't stand in the pocket and throw the ball, could not lead a team to Super Bowl triumph, and would be better off playing some other position. But it didn't end there. Radio show Monday, radio color analyst Tim Ryan said QB Lamar Jackson, who is black, is skilled at faking handoffs because of his quote dark skin color with a dark football ryan was suspended but the damage was done over and over and over lamar jackson has proven so many doubters wrong with wide receiver being a position of need and potential restructuring of center after patrick mccarry struggled in the ravens divisional round loss to the titans and matt scura coming off a torn acl pcl and mcl in his left knee the reinforcements may arrive just in time. My lone question, is that what it'll take? Or will another MVP season still not be enough for a man continually doubted and outperforming all predictions en route to a phenomenal career? If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.